The National Motor Museum at Bewley is known for its impressive collection of vehicles from the early days of motoring. And now in a new exhibition, they've put some of their most extravagant and rare objects on display. This is um, an extremely rare collection of um, Lalique mascots. Um, only 31 were ever produced, uh, one, one of which is actually a, a, a slight anomaly because it wasn't actually put on a car, but it was produced as a, a, a kind of a limited edition Pullman Express. Uh, mascot. Um, there are 28 here and there are three missing from the whole collection. Um, they're extremely rare. Mascots on, on vehicles reflected the owner's own interests um, and so they tended to be accessory mascots so they might have for example been uh, something that indicated speed or um, it could have been something to do with horse racing or, or pretty much anything that they personally were interested in. The spirit of ecstasy really kind of came about that Rolls Royce wanted to create their own brand and so commissioned Charles Sykes to uh, design the spirit of ecstasy um, and obviously the, the history of, of the connection with the Montague family is, is really well known. Much like the horse and carriage that preceded them, many of the luxury vehicles were never actually driven by those that owned them. Most wealthy owners would have had a chauffeur um, to, to drive them about. Uh, many of those chauffeurs, it was the, the only opportunity they would have had to get behind the wheel of, of a car like this, or a car at all actually. Um, so, um, you know, they, not only did they drive the cars, but they maintained the cars as well. So. People would have had their interiors um, with, uh, made out of very rare animal um, hides, like zebras, for example. Uh, Docker Daimlers um, are very famous for having uh, zebra interiors. You would have had uh, lots of rare woods that the dashboards were made out of. Rhino horn, elephant tusks, elephant ivory, pretty much anything in the early days of luxury motoring, wasn't off of off limits really. So, for example, we have bespoke um, vanity cases, uh, we have picnic hampers, we have um, beautiful Staffordshire models, um, you know, a whole range of, of different things for people to, to come and have a look at. Taking pride of place in the exhibit alongside some vintage cars is the latest in luxury vehicles. But there's more in the museum archive still yet to be seen. The luxury of motoring continues. You know, it starts at the very early days of motoring um, and runs all the way through to the present day. Um, and obviously the opportunity for people now um, uh, you know, is much more widespread to be able to, to drive. Um, you know, but obviously there's still uh, an elite group of people um, that, that tend to drive the, the very top quality luxury, luxury cars. It is a permanent gallery in the museum, but obviously some of the um, cars um, will change as, as we go through um, you know, the, the summer. We'll, we'll have new, um, new marks to come in so that you know, there's always something new for people to see. Things will be updated and changed because this is just a small selection of items from our collections. We have you know, many fabulous things in our reserve collections that we want to have the opportunity to show the public. So we will be rotating things you know, on a reasonably regular basis. Richard Stringer, That's TV.